Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and I have been putting this off for so long, but today we're finally going to do it, and today I'm going to be showing you the art portfolio that got me into Columbia, UPenn, NYU, etc., and tell you a little bit about the process, my thought process, my artistic process, and yeah, let's get into it. start with the ones on paper and then we're going to transition to the ones on canvas which I did mostly for my APR class and the results for that haven't come out yet but I'm hoping for a four or a five. Alright um so I wanted to in this portfolio show a range of my technical and creativity skills so my ability to kind of come up with my own ideas but also you know the the foundation for that which is the technical ability to look at something and draw it. I worked with my art professor on this. Okay, so these pieces are... This is really a struggle because I don't know if you can see it. But these pieces are basically just sketches. This one is a sketch of a horse bust statue. Um, and it just shows, you know, pencil contrast. That's not the actual one, it's just a copy. But the actual one was about this big and... The second one is a pen and ink. We chose this one because it shows more of my ability to like let loose and you know just follow the paint in a sense because watercolor is very like flowy. So just to like go with the flow. Um, so that's what this piece is about. And this is a brush and ink landscape, I guess. I think it's a landscape. I'm so bad at this. This one is, actually these two were one series in my art portfolio, um, and these show my technical abilities with like human anatomy, which is so important, and these I drew from life, so like I had a skull, not real of course, a fake skull in front of me, and then I just like drew it with like contrast and, you know, from life, and I think that's a really important skill to have that these schools are looking for, is the ability to like translate something that you see in life onto paper um, and that's a really important technical skill that you should have these next three are also skeletons i don't know why it's kind of morbid these were studies of like old master drawings i'm not sure who did these originally but these are just studies so not original but these three were a set in my portfolio and they show you know my understanding of human anatomy and stuff like that so yeah, I use pencil and then white acrylic to bring out the highlights and it's on tinted paper. And yeah, you can also see that I have a variety so far of medium. So I have like pen and ink, I have pencil, I have brush and ink, and I have some watercolor, which this is my last paper piece, but this one is like one of my favorite pieces. The original pen and ink didn't have color, so I added color myself, um, and I think it turned out really good. Um, yeah, I really like this one, and I think it was a strong piece in my portfolio, it's just again, to show the technical skill that I have, and my understanding of color, depth, contrast, etc. On to the big paintings. I always love showing my canvas pieces so much more, I don't know why, it just makes me happy. Um, so these, my paintings are more of the creative pieces in my art portfolio because most of those were studies or, um, you know, just like from life sketches. There wasn't much creativity in them, but these, these. So most of my paintings have to deal with my Asian American identity and that's basically what my AP art portfolio was about as well. This one is basically, this one's my favorite, I think. So this one, I tried to juxtapose the kind of eastern background with me. This does not look like me, I'm so aware. I cried like five times because over this face and I just couldn't get it right and now it just like looks like someone else that's not me. But if you believe it looks like me, drop a comment. So I juxtaposed the eastern background with this more like 
westernized outfit, you know, very like renaissance-y, Mary Antoinette kind of type beat, and the background, that is a Chinese like folding screen, um, well it's, it's meant to be, and I spent a lot of time on this like pattern over here, and yeah, it's just very traditional, and you know, she's holding the fan, she has, these are the house moving castle earrings, I don't know if you can tell, um, but I use those a lot in my paintings, just because they're so pretty, and elegant and I kind of like putting that little touch in there so yeah this is my first canvas piece that I put on okay second this one oh my god this one I did when I was 2018 three years ago this one I did when I was 15 and I literally still cannot believe that I did this when I was 15 because I don't think I could do this like now so this one less to do with, of course, my Asian American identity, but uh, I really liked it because it showed my technical skill on kind of another level because I don't have a lot of landscapes. So this one is, of course, a landscape, um, and I created the composition myself, and it's very much based on like the style of the Dutch Golden Age with the sky and that all the like dark colors. Um, and I really looked at Rembrandt van Rijn's uh, paintings for reference to you know the contrast between the clouds and then like these little hints of light and like bright colors. Um, and of course like this little hole in the sky right here. So this one I called. Uh, Turmoil. This one's called Turmoil, and it kind of has to deal with like, you know, turmoil, but there's always a light in the distance. I'm so bad at explaining these. <laughs> but like, you know, I think art should be interpreted however you want it to be interpreted. So, interpret this one as you will. Oh, and by the way, these two, actually all of these are acrylics because I have no idea how to paint in oils. Next one. This one is my largest piece in the collection, but this one, mm, I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like there's a lot that could be done to make it better because I was really rushing on this one for my APR portfolio um, and I just decided to put it in my college art portfolios, but I think there could be so much more done to like just fine tune things. However, I loved this one because of the smoke right here. Did this at 12 a.m. while I was eating Pocky, delirious, drinking probably my fifth cup of tea for the day, and just trying to channel this energy into my painting. Um, again, things that I think could be worked on. I think the cloth needs a little bit of color and like dimension. The hand looks very. The hand just does not look good at all. Please don't look at that. These two, no, no. I think the teapot's fine. I'm satisfied with the cup. I think this board could use a little bit more like fine tuning because it's supposed to be like a bamboo board, but right now it just looks like a table with streaks on it. So yeah, I'm really self-critical of my paintings, but like I feel like that's an important part of being an artist, you know, like seeing your own faults and doing your best to attack them. To, to fix them. Yes, that's the word. And again, this one is an original composition and of course I have to deal with my, you know, little daily Asian American things in my life, if you know what I'm saying. Like tea time with my grandparents. Um, you know, we always drink tea and I don't think that's something that a lot of non-Asian families do. Or is it? I don't know. Next up, we have this piece. I really like this piece when I first made it, and now that I'm looking at it, I don't like it as much. I'm, again, seeing like a lot of things I could do to make this better. I remember binge watching like literally the entire BuzzFeed Unsolved series while I was painting this, and it was kind of like the best time of my life. <laughs> but yeah. What I want to say about this one is it was my second piece in my AP art portfolio, so it was kind of a little bit like rushed. <laughs> Actually, all of them were. Like, if you're doing APR, um, like whenever in your life, just know that you will be procrastinating and just know that you should not procrastinate because you will be like exhausted, like mentally exhausted. Um, yeah, so this one I chose to do kind of this like Mm, portrait like thing you know like if you were to go to a photo studio um, and they took a photo of you 
this is what it would be like. I used references of myself when I was a kid. This is young me, it's supposed to be. This is me right now. Mm. Well, this is supposed to be me right now, but yeah. Uh -uh. I think the skin could definitely use a little bit of um, work just because it's very like warm right now and I feel like it's like um, I look like pink and then the hands definitely could use some work I hate detail work like I'm so bad at it which is why I always choose to work on bigger canvases but I should work on that I guess the background took me forever literally forever and my hand was like cramping it's still cramping just thinking about it but I chose to do this like not paisley I don't know, like Chinese um, traditional like pattern on it and this dragon is supposed to be like part of the cloth so you can see like I kind of made like the, the, the shadows like wrap around so it looks like he's part of the cloth but here it's supposed to look like he's like coming out kind of of the cloth um, and like becoming real I don't know if that came across very well, but I think that's definitely something I could work on. And this one is called Growth, um, just because it's little me versus big me, and like the growth I have had as an Asian American. And there's also this plant which is there to symbolize that kind of, um, but it also kind of just adds to like the photo shoot-esque style of this painting. But overall, like, I don't know. I would definitely just go back and fix some technical details, but I think this one was a strong piece in my portfolio. Um, put that there. Okay, last piece. We're almost here. We're almost at the end. <laughs> Stay with me. Okay, so this one, um, this one was actually the one that the Tufts admission officers said that they liked the best. And this one is called Cherish. I don't know why I named it that. It's not a very fitting name, I think. I'm so bad at naming my pieces. It really just does not work at all, huh? Uh -huh. This one is kind of me looking into a mirror, and that's like me, but like in, again, the traditional like Asian, um, Chinese uh, clothing and like hairstyle and everything. And here I'm just like, you know, the back of my head, you don't really know what I'm thinking. It's kind of mysterious. -ous. Um, and we have this kind of surreal thing going on with all of these fish that kind of look like the woodcut fish, wood printing, wood printing fish um, in, you know, art. <laughs> My brain is not working. These kind of look like the wood printing, wood printed fish. Anyways, they're supposed to be just like swimming around in surreal-esque um, painting. I actually used a metallic marker for this and I'm so glad I did because painting it would have literally been hell. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. I think if I did do anything more, it would be just like adding something else here. But I don't know, pretty happy with it. Shall we move on to some honorable mentions? Okay, on to the honorable mentions. So these I painted from my APR portfolio, but I didn't include them in my college art portfolios just because I thought I had obviously like stronger pieces. However, I still love these paintings. They're like my children. This one, okay, I actually don't love this one that much. <laughs> Lol. And so this one was supposed to be like kind of a surreal-esque, you know, um, glowy kind of Van Gogh. You know that painting with like the, the Vandana thing? And then it's like yellow and then it's at nighttime and there's like tables and chairs at like this patio and it's like a little cafe. Anyways, that Van Gogh painting, I was trying to channel that. Didn't really work because you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Um, into this like Chinatown street scene and these are supposed to be like the people walking by and they were supposed to be kind of like um, a motion blur however I had no idea how to make that happen with acrylics so it kind of just looks bad but I do like the bricks I like this, this house very much um, these two eh, could use a little bit more work I think the figure itself, I definitely rushed a lot on the clothing and like the shoes down here. Um, so I definitely would go back in that. And I think the lanterns could use a little bit more illumination and light. Um, but overall, still a piece I'm satisfied with. So yeah, good work. Next one. Um, this one won a 
honorable mention and the congressional art competition. Um, so yeah, I don't know, pretty happy with this one. This is always something that I wanted to paint, like the, the juxtaposition of like the Chinese hot pot um, with like fondue versus, you know, the traditional meats, vegetables, etc. in the hot pot. Um, so we have the chopsticks here, we have the fondue stick here, and we have, you know, the fruits and veg the fruits over here, and then like the meat and the vegetables over there. And in this one I really try to play with like shapes, so you can see there's a lot of repeating circles, there's a lot of, and there's squares to break it up, um, which I think. I don't know. I'm proud of myself with this one. I think definitely the strawberries could do some work. I really have no idea how to paint strawberries, so I think I'm gonna work on that. Not that painting strawberries is like a necessary life skill, but I kind of would like it to be, you know? Uh, but yeah. This one I actually finished after I submitted all my college um, applications, therefore I did not include it in my portfolios. This one. This one's like my smallest painting yet, I think. Um, I painted this when I was 16, so, you know, I liked it. It was the beginning of my, um, exploration into, sorry, there's hair, into my Asian American identity. However, I didn't think it was strong enough to put into my college art portfolios. Um, but yeah, I just have, you know, this kind of a still life set up. And then this mirror, we have me here taking a selfie. I think my favorite part about this is definitely the teapot. I think I did a good job with that. I hate the cloth, the way that this turned out. I um, really wish I could redo it. And I also like that. Yeah. I have a love-hate relationship with a lot of my paintings, um, as you can probably tell. Alright, on to the last honorable mention. This one is kind of a different style i guess um from my other paintings as you can see those are more like i think the color palettes of those are more toned down more antique whereas this one is more pastel and vibrant this one kind of reminds me of like the cover art for like lo-fi music if you know what i'm talking about that's what i was like inspired by i love the paint i it's just narcissistic if i say like i love how i did something so, right. It was so fun to do as well because it was nice to play with the contrasting colors. Um, the figure itself, I, I really like that. I don't know how I like the fish. The um, pose kind of seems a bit weird to me. Yeah, a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. I liked the blankets. This took me forever to do. I think I like repainted it like five times because it just was not looking right. But in the end, I think we got it down. Overall, really like this piece. And that's the end. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully it inspired you a little bit to, you know, create art to, or like gave you a little bit of direction um, into what you want to do with your college art portfolio. If you guys have any questions feel free to reach out even though i'm probably not the best person to ask maybe go ask like a college counselor or something or your art teacher mayhaps thank you so much for watching i will probably be coming out with some more art content in the future and hope you enjoyed this video subscribe um please please and like this video comment if you have any questions concerns or just want to say hi and see you in the next video 오마이와 모두